No, no, no sé. No. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Shay No Shade. I'm your host Bridget, and today. I am here on that hot girl ish. Yes, honey, I'm talking about Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion, she released her new video today, her new visual of her song B-I-T-C-H. And I just want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do my normal lyrical breakdown and everything. I might do a little bit of lyrical breakdown, but you know, the song has been out for a while. So I'm not going to do a breakdown on the song. I'm just going to give you a, my real live reaction to the video. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just super excited and glad that she was able to release the video because, you know, she had a whole bunch of legal issues going on or whatever where her old management did not want to. They was basically blocking her from releasing her new music. So she took him to court. Being the hot girl that she is, she's like, I ain't nobody, nobody's property. So she took them to court and the judge granted her a temporary restraining order on the label. You know what I'm saying? So allowing her to release new music or whatever. So that's a good thing. I'm super excited about that. Now I must admit, when I first heard the song a while ago, I wasn't too excited. I didn't listen to the whole song. I just um, heard a snippet or whatever, and I wasn't too excited about it because it sounded like a kind of like a remake almost from um, the Tupac song. I'd rather be a N I G G A. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> Not motherfucking dumb. Real hot girl shit. When people start messing, messing with old school songs and old school classics, it kind of, it does something to my anxiety. You know what I'm saying? It kind of stresses me out a little bit because that, I read to be an N.I.G.G.A. by Tupac was a classic. Hey, what's happening? Not motherfucking dumb. Real hot girl shit. I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I actually heard the whole song today. This is my first time actually watching the video, but I actually heard the the whole song today or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I am feeling this. This is dope. And I just want to go ahead and do a, a review on, it's kind of like, it's not really a reaction review to the song itself because it's been out for a minute, but kind of to the to the video that came out so I'm gonna go ahead and and I'm gonna be pausing a lot because I'm playing I'm actually playing the song and for copyright purposes or whatever I need to pause it or whatever but we're going to talk about the video a little bit you can't keep letting motherfuckers walk all over you you don't need to be playing too nice with everybody but what if I'm not strong enough who you gonna listen to them or Tina Snow but just right off the bat I'm really digging the beginning of the video. You know what I'm saying? She is in this red, you know, she's in this car. I don't know what kind of car it is, but it has like red leather seats. And it's giving me this player, players club type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? And it has her over in the passenger seat and then another chick in the driver's seat, which is her. That is Tina Snow. So I'm assuming Tina Snow is her alter ego. And... I like that. I like that. I'm, I'm definitely interested and in looking forward to hearing more about Tina Snow and what she's about and what she got going on. What you need to do is go in there and show them that you that bitch. You right. I am that bitch. I know. I'd rather keep it with you. Real hot. Okay, so she's walking in and she has on like this leopard cheetah looking thingy i don't know what it is but it's like a one piece uh like leopard cheetah type set and she also have like the head wrap on and she's walking in with these two big black dogs looking amazing looking simply amazing her body is banging as usual so i i have to you know what i'm saying she's beautiful and i have to express that And also in this video, she has like four girls behind her, right? 
and I love the fact that they are different shades because she has like two super chocolate girls in here and then like two uh, maybe like pecan tan color girls I'm not really sure super excited that she was able to release her song you know release this visual because um and you know also and she's also doing her media run she was just on the breakfast club she even went on um First take. Everybody serve as particular inspiration to you. I mean, I, I'm, I'm old school. I grew up loving Queen Latifah, the MC Light, and, and folks like that. And um, I'm just wondering, is there anybody that stood out of your mind that that served as a personal inspiration to you, particularly at this moment in time in your career? Um, when I was younger, my mom put me on UGK. So Pimp C is like my favorite rapper. Mm -hmm. And Biggie is also one of my favorite rappers. So just growing up, I listened to a lot of them. And I was always like, it would sound really cool if a woman was saying this. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I take a lot of my inspiration from. So when she said she's inspired by Biggie and Pimp C, then I said, oh, this makes sense. So definitely, she this song was definitely influenced by Tupac. Because if you listen to Pimp C and Biggie, you listen to Tupac. You know what I'm saying? So. You know I'm And her swag, she's a real hot girl, know how to keep a nigga heated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She has so much swag. And it always kind of amazes me how nowadays the girls are so comfortable with being pretty much half naked. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's, she's pretty much half naked, her and the other girls on here. But they're all, like, super comfortable and confident. And she's, you know, doing her thing and got just swagged out in the whole video or whatever. So I'm always a little um, amazed by that. And also in this scene, she had this gray fur on with the big old with the big old shades on. I really love that look on her. And she got the look sleek ponytail on the side i really love that look on her i think one thing about this video that i noticed it seems to be very simple you know what i'm saying it don't have it's, it's not busy it don't have a whole lot going on so to keep the video simple but megan is who she is so you cannot really help but to keep your eyes focus on her you know what i'm saying and she's so she just takes over she's so confident in the in the video and how with her movements and, and everything so you cannot do nothing but just really keep your eyes on her and be like dad girl <laughs> you know what i'm talking about <laughs> Say you look me in my eyes and know you lying. That's fraud, bruh. <laughs> I like her. I like her. Yes. And you knew I was a player, so you really need to relax. You know that you gon' hate me if I get the plan. Get back. I ain't trying to no damage. This chick is like bent down literally to the floor, okay? And twerking like she has the strongest knees like in history like who does that who can do that other than Megan like seriously girl when you met me boy I've been there you trying to make me something that I ain't night with that I'd rather be a B-I-T-C-H cause that's what you gonna call me when I'm tripping now we're on the scene with her in the hot tub she looks really pretty here in the hot tub and she has like the uh, wavy hair the long wavy hair love it so did you let me know what you think did you know that this was a remake or inspired by the tupac song the i'd rather be a n-i-g-g-a or did, do you think she did a good job remaking the song or whatever um let me know what you think about it because those you know i think it was good i really love how she put the female spin on it you know and it was all kind of hard and you know straight to the point she's basically letting you know how she feel and what she's doing and she don't care about what you know what nobody's thinking either you're going to be rocking with it or you're not so i really love the spin that she put on it so let me know what you think about it how you felt about the song leave it in the comments if you like it leave it in the comments if you didn't like it leave it in the comments just let me know again those are just my opinions but what i know i'm just a girl from the south with an opinion shawty I will catch you in the next video, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!